Well, welcome back, YouTube. Come down here today. I started off. I was gonna fish for catfish. I got down here, and this tide's going out pretty good today. So I happen to have the old one of the old rods laying in the boat there. I was putting me a spinner on there, and a uh, jig head, and a fake cricket, artificial cricket. Now that's what we could try since this water's going out some, and see if we can do anything with the brim, anything this evening. We might try to catfish later on if we get to them. But anyhow, since this tide's going out, we could try these brim right now. Another brim hit this thing up in here. I didn't come down here intending on brim fishing, but since this water was down, that's what I'm gonna try. This one's big enough to eat you. I just happen to have a, I always keep a spare rod in the boat for throwing the beetle spin or fishing something. But this rig here, I just hooked up. I just put me a spinner on there, blade. And a blade, put my jig head on there, and that there fake cricket. And that's what I'm using. I've had these fake crickets probably 10 years or more, and I ain't never used them. And it looked like something of a fossil fish I'd bite. So that's what we could use. I ain't never seen a rig like this in the store, nothing looked like it. But you can always come up with something of it that you can try different. Tell you though, it's amazing you start to come off to go fishing for one thing and end up fishing for something else. But I go for whatever's biting. That's why I, a lot of times I keep at least one rod and reel for throwing a beetle spin or fishing the cork or fishing bottom for brim or something. If I even if I'm going cat fishing. The only way I can go catfishing is to leave all my other rods at the house. Because if not, I'll pick it up and start throwing a beetle spin or make me up a cricket with a lure or something. I'll come up with YouTube, you ain't always got to buy a setup already in the store. Sometimes you can buy your own stuff and put together a combination. And kind of get used to fishing it and fish some kind of design of your own. Hey, YouTube, I didn't get to turn the camera on in time. That time, let's see if we pull this one in. This tide slowed down from going out and hit rose back up to the woods in 30 minutes. That's how much fresh water there is coming down. But uh, fish are still biting somewhat though. Still keep catching a nice one. And I see a dark thunder, thunderhead back that way to my left over there, but I don't hear no thunder. But there we go. Whistling that line. Great dog, uh, look at that. Nice brim. I, had, I lost a crappie earlier. Nice crappie. Even though the water is high, I still keep picking up some nice fish. 
but it went from down about two foot to the tide stopped and it rose back up two foot within 30 minutes. That's just how fast it come back up. Now I hear some rumbles of thunder back between me and the landing. We might have to make a break for a chin a minute. Two legs left on my cricket now. Well, one and a half legs. All right, you. I'm catching a nice brown, though. <laughs> Little red breast. I imagine a fish think, wow, a cricket that swims. a big one directly maybe. That little sunfish. On YouTube I don't know what's going on with this camera, but it might be the heat that sometime I can get it to turn on, sometime it's not working right. But I'm trying doing the best I can. So. But if you like the video, give it a like. Um if you get a chance, share the video. I'm trying to get the channel to grow. It'll help me out if you Share it and hit that like button. Well, small crappy here. He might be legal size, but I like to let these crappies I like to let them get to be a slab. Uh, small brim. Hey, uh, y'all hear that behind me back there? It's in between me and the landing. Uh, YouTube, a little thunderhead caught me and wet me. Come up between me and the landing there. But then Brim, since this went over, it went to popping around these lily pads. I mean, just sucking the water. I can't get too many to hit, though. It sure cooled off after I got my butt wet. That's a nice brown here. You catch one that spooks them for a while. Like him popping all in these lily pads. My poor little cricket ain't got but one leg left. Sure cooled off after that little thunderhead went across. Uh, little hand size brown. Uh, Grace will love you. YouTube is. I come down here to catfish. But it's hard for me to put that spinner down whenever I'm catching brim. I tell you, I just can't help it. I, I just has to, just has to fish for them when they bite. I don't mind getting a little bit wet, as long as it don't start lightning. Them clouds, that little thunderhead, then blow across. It blew across in about 20 minutes. As long as it don't start lightning, I. I Sometimes I like to fish in the rain, cool things off, as long as there ain't no light. I'm scared of that light. Not a nice brown. 
Mr. Uh, Richard Altman, I hadn't forgot about the Omega, Zepco Omega. I got hit at the house with a bass lure on it. And I'm saving it for bass fishing since it reels so smooth and easy. Where if this water ever get right this year, I'll do a little bit of bass fishing. Still catching. Next year, YouTube, one of my plans is to uh, try to get out and fish the lakes on, fish some of the lakes around here, Santee Cooper and Santee River and places. And fish them some next year. Um, this year I was trying to get my channel built up and everything to see how I hit go with it, see if people would watch. Maybe next year I can get a little bit more time and stuff to get out and fish some of the other lakes and things around here. I, but I sure appreciate the ones of y'all that watch and keep up with the channel and everything. That makes me want to get out here and go fishing and stuff. I wouldn't fish near as much as I do if it wasn't for y'all watching. Hey YouTube, uh, heard another um, thunderstorm coming, so I packed up and got on out of there. But anyhow, that's what we ended up with. Uh, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed. And I just got home and the wifey got fish frying in the pan over there. But anyhow, we did manage to catch a good mess. That means some nice, nice size brim. Um, Anyhow, till we get out there the next time, uh, and call a mess of chicken over here. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you the next time.